another episode of me sitting over here at my really messy desk because my laptop won't turn on. Hey everybody, it's Sad Welcome to channel. Um, book it. Woohoo! For like, forgot the name for a second, don't know why. I'm gonna move my chair like this so I don't have to worry about it. Um, as you can tell, I'm in a really different spot than normal. It's because my laptop's like not working, whatever, blah, blah. But today we're gonna to be talking about a book that like I feel like not a lot of people have heard about maybe. Um, Cause it's kind of like one of those, I don't know. It's called Purity by Jackson Pierce. And I know you might be thinking, I feel like, oh my God, what the hell? The book's been, yeah. Um, I've had this book for so long. Like, I mean years. So before I had like the library that I have now, before I had like a like a book channel, before before TikTok was a thing. Yeah, back when it was musically. Um, I went to the dollar store with like my friends or whatever over like in our hometown. Um, sorry, my eyes at you. And this was in the dollars, like the dollar section of the dollar store. So just the book section and I picked it up because I was like oh it looks kind of cool wonder what it's about and just let it go right yeah so um this is actually a contemporary fiction book um that's really it's realistic um and so yeah I've had it for years um but yeah so the book takes place it's about a girl named Shelby who um at the very beginning of the book, she loses her mom, um, which it, like takes place a couple years before the actual like book. So she loses her mother, um, and she struggles to find herself um, after that. And her mom, like before her mom died, she's like, "Please just follow my rules. Listen to your father. Like, don't disobey him. Please just like try to be a good kid for him." Um, and she really does care about that, so she wants that to like be it, like her big thing. Um, so like as she gets older, her father invites her to do this princess ball that's lo that's like at this local church. And she agrees just because like it's something her mom would have wanted her to do so she agrees to go and do it um so when she gets there they're all talking about like you know what they have to do like they have to wear these dresses and they have to dance a certain like cotillion dance or whatever but they also have to make a promise to themselves and their fathers to stay pure until marriage um so shelby finds that this is not what she wants because she doesn't want to do that um but at the same point she doesn't want to dis disrespect her father or go against anything he wishes so the entire book she spends trying to find a loophole um trying to figure out how she can basically have sex so when she makes the promise it doesn't really mean anything because it's already happened um so the story follows her trying to do this loophole and how she like the entire time she's doing this, she's not happy with any of her choices. And she's also trying to make herself happy, um, but not disrespect her father. Um, she learns that she has a guy that's like her like fallback guy, you know, like, oh, if all else fails, I'll like do him. Um, her fallback guy, she ends up finding out that he sleeps with like her best friend. So like that kind of kills. That's like a big chunk of the book. It's like they just like argue over that because she's like, what, you went with her? And he's like, yeah, like, you know, like you didn't like me like that. So like, obviously, and like her best friend was like, oh, I didn't tell you and blah, 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 whatever. Just like a whole big thing. So basically she like takes all this time. She goes and she tries to like hook up with someone random, but she doesn't want to do that because she doesn't know them. But then she doesn't want to do someone she knows because then it'll be awkward. Um, she doesn't want to have a boyfriend. She ends up getting with one of the guys um that she like goes out with and she's trying to pursue him and he's like oh no i, I want to wait and she's like we don't have time to wait um so the chapters are actually like if i can flip through, the chapters are actually like 20 days before um and stuff like that so it's not like chapter one two and three it basically just goes ahead like so 30 days but 34 days before four days before so it basically goes down the line like that um which is so interesting so she has, so her best, her best guy friend's name is Jonas and she has a big fight with him obviously. So they're not really on talking terms. Um, and this is what brings to like my favorite quote because I think this quote is just hilarious. Um, it was, I literally, you could, if you, if you look at my tabs, you can see that they're all like blue and match the book. Cause I try to match my tabs, but this one is like this, like really obnoxious looking like purple color. And that's because I tabbed it years ago, years ago, because I thought this quote was so funny. Um, so it says, it's like seven days before. It says, two days after my fight with Jonas, I eat an entire cross-shaped chocolate from the goodie bags. If I can't get laid, I'm gonna get fat. <laughs> um, 
which I think is so funny because she literally went to the church and got these like candies and then she went home and ate them because she was depressed about not being able to get laid. I just think that's so funny. Um, but through the entire book, she's doing like these dance lessons and these meetings, these cake tastings and all these other stuff. Um, and then she has to fill out like this questionnaire for like the princess ball. And it's like, what's something that like your, you and your dad like to do together? How often do you spend time with your dad? What's your guys' favorite memory and stuff like that. And um, she's like trying to figure out like what to put down. And she realizes that her and her dad don't spend a lot of time together, which is kind of the reason why she wants to do the princess ball. Um, but like at the very end of the book, we see the dad's questionnaire. She like happens to stumble across it on his desk or whatever. And they're like, what's your favorite day? And he puts like cake tasting day, the day they went and tasted cakes for the ball. And um, cause they're like helping run it at this point. And she realizes that like her dad doesn't really care like about it. Cause one of the questions was like, how important is like purity in your relationship with you and your daughter? And he put like, I don't really care about it. I just want to spend more time with my daughter. I feel like we're not connected. I don't spend enough time with her. I'm always at work. She's always with her friends or at school and it's just not fair. And I think it's a really cute, like it's just very like overall, it's just like one of those books that make you just go like, Aw, because the entire book you're reading and you're seeing her point of view, you're seeing that she's trying to like do all this stuff and she's trying to get with all these guys. She's trying to be like herself, but also trying to respect her mother's wishes before her mother, before her mother passed, trying to respect those wishes, but also trying to like respect her father too. And then at the very end, you see that all these things have been coming at her left and right. And the entire time, her dad didn't care. He didn't care that like if she was going to stay pure until marriage, he didn't care about that. He just wanted to spend time with his daughter. And this is the only way he could think about doing it was like, if I make her do this, which she will say yes to do and all this stuff. So I think this is a, this is a very good book, especially for a dollar from the Dollar Tree. My, my dog literally only barks when I start filming. Um, I've never seen it like on any book talk, any book tube or anything. I think this is really good. Um, but the question on the top is how far would you go to keep a promise? Um, this is Purity by Jackson Pierce. I really liked it. I gave it a four out of five. Um, smut, there, there really isn't. It's not a smutty book. It's more of just like a wholesome, <laughs> it's a wholesome book. Um, but yeah, I read this when I was like 14. So yeah, I definitely recommend this book, especially if you just want like a really like one of those books that's like, Oh, you know, this is a good book to read. Um, but yeah, that's it for purity. Uh, I'm hoping my laptop will be fixed very soon so I can get back to like my normal comfy spot on the couch. Cause as much as I love sitting here in my chair, um, the lighting sucks because I have like this light behind. Um, I have, I have natural light, which is nice, but like just kind of a pain in the butt. And my desk is a mess currently cause I have a lot of things going on. But yes, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Um, and I've learned that's like really important. Um, also, like leave a comment if you have like a book that you've ever gotten from the Dollar Tree or something and like you really liked it. Um, because I'm really interested because like sometimes at the Dollar like store they have like those like really like crappy like cookbooks, like no offense. But like, or they have like, they have a bunch of like religious books. So that's what I thought like this was going to be, but it wasn't and I really enjoyed it. But like they always have those kind. I really wanna know if there's like any other good type of like fiction books there um but yeah so let me know if you've ever found any and i think that might be another video i do is like go to the dollar store with me and try to find some like books that are like actually reasonable um but yeah a dollar not bad um yeah thank you so much for watching and until the next time bye <laughs>